Kelly here from Body Fit Solutions. So what I wanted to do is put all of our really essential myofascial release techniques with the roller and the lacrosse ball into one video. So these are the ones that we generally give for especially the lower half of the body. And I'm just gonna do a quick review of all of them, but what I'd like you to do is once you know what you're doing, pause the video, time it for two minutes, and then move on, okay? Otherwise we'll be here for a very long time. So I want you to start with the front of your thigh, your quadriceps. You're gonna lie on your front. You're gonna place that roller just below your hip. You're gonna have your other knee bent to the side and you're gonna be supporting yourself on your forearm on the same side that you're releasing. So I'm on my right thigh and the other hand is on the floor. Now, if you have any discomfort in the shoulder or you find being here too long um, is problematic, then you're gonna put some pillows from your couch, from wherever, bolsters, and stick them underneath your ribs so you can really support your body weight a little bit more. If you are able to hold here, just make sure you're not sagging in your back. And what we wanna feel with that front of the thigh is a feeling of a little bruisey feeling, a little bit of tenderness, but you're gonna allow your breath to melt you. So once you've got yourself in position, you're gonna take some nice inhales through your nose and out through your mouth. And as the tissue releases at the front of your thigh, you're gonna slowly move it down your leg. Okay? You're gonna slowly start to travel that roller down towards your knee as your tissue is melting. I want you to pause the video and I want you to do it two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other side. All right, so hopefully you've done the releases on the right leg and on the left leg for the front of your thigh. If you haven't, please stop and, uh, and do that on both sides. Okay, what we're gonna do next is our gluteal tissue. So we're gonna sit on the roller, we're gonna have it long ways, and we're gonna sit in the middle of the roller as much as we can with our legs apart. We're gonna lean over to one side so that we really feel the bum tissue on that one side. And my hand is on the floor side, a little bit side, a little bit back. Okay, now some of you will feel that just with your foot down. And you're just gonna lightly roll across that side tissue of your bottom. If you can, you're gonna take your foot up and cross it over your knee and do the same thing. Okay, so this will put a little bit more stretch into that tissue. Now both of the first exercise and this exercise and the one that's coming, actually all the leg exercises, when this becomes a little bit easier, you're gonna to progress to a harder ball like a medicine ball or you could even use a, a hard football or a basketball. And that's gonna get us a little bit deeper into the tissue. So I'm just gently rocking. Now we've probably done about 30 seconds worth. So I'd like you to pause the video and I'd like you to do another minute and a half on this side, or if you haven't done the full two minutes, do two minutes on this side, and then please do the other side. All right, so our next position is our IT band. Now I'm gonna go a little bit on my other side, so I'm a little bit more balanced for this video. So what we're gonna do is go onto the side of the leg, and we're gonna come down from the very top of the hip, and we're gonna work our way down to where it starts to feel a bit ouchy. Again, we're on our forearm like we were in the first exercise, and I've got my top leg bent over in front. The bottom leg is straight, ideally, and then we're gonna slide down the leg slowly. Now, we're supporting our weight a little bit more on the side, so this can be quite challenging for many people. So what you can do is prop yourself up with those pillows you had before, and then you're gonna support your weight there, okay? And then you're gonna slowly crawl yourself down the roller, breathing at every moment. Now, if the tissue doesn't release, you need to wait there a little bit longer. And it's not about rolling and rubbing up and down. It really is about resting and supporting yourself into that roller. Now, if you really find that problematic and you're really struggling with your shoulder, um, then I'm gonna show you an alternative after this. If you're happy with this, pause the video. Two minutes on this side, two minutes on the other side. 
So the alternative is with a lacrosse ball, or if you're finding it's really painful, like a tennis ball will work really well, your knees are gonna be bent, you're gonna place that ball in the middle of the thigh, on the side, and then you're gonna use the weight of your top leg to rest into that ball. Now here, you could rest down on the floor, have a pillow under your head, and just let the weight of the leg drop into the ball. So this is a really good option. If you feel like you have maybe a softer ball that you can do this with that's maybe slightly bigger, uh, then that can work really well. And I would just move gently up and down that leg. All right, so if this is a better option for you, two minutes on this side, two minutes on the other side. Okay, so we're back to our roller and we're gonna go into the inner thigh tissue now. So I'm gonna lie more on my front and I'm gonna bring the right leg up so that the roller's kind of right in the crease of my leg, right by my groin. And I'm just gonna rest there and just roll. Now, for me, this roller isn't um, hard enough for me to feel, but some of you just starting out are gonna feel this enough. So I'm just rolling very gently my roller down towards the inner knee and then I'm rolling my body to roll the roller more towards the groin. So I'm really finding this middle place where my roller is now, I can feel, but you might find that the roller needs to be higher up and you just rest your weight into it, okay? Or you can be down towards the knee joint a little bit more and that might be where you feel the tension. So we're just doing very gentle little rocking actions and this is quite good for the pelvis as well to feel a little bit of gentle rocking, okay? So again, if this feels like nothing, you might not be tight there, or you might wanna explore a medicine ball or a harder ball under there, like a football or, a, or um, a basketball, okay? So it's a rounder surface. So again, we've done about 30 seconds. Pause this video, do another minute and a half, Change to the other side for two minutes. So we're gonna to go to the upper body next, and we're gonna do a little bit of lats. So these are all really important kind of starter exercises to release tension in the body. If you're kind of new to fitness or you're getting back into fitness or even Pilates, and you've got a lot of tightness in the body, these are some really great exercises that if you commit to it for about a month, you will notice a big difference. So we're gonna work into the lats here. We're going around the chest level, and my roller is just underneath my armpit, and we're gonna roll gently forward towards the chest, not too far forward, and gently roll back. I find that my um, hand behind my head supports the head, so you can do that. The bottom arm could be bent if you suffer with some shoulder tightness. Now this is gonna feel lumpy and bumpy. And it's gonna feel in some sections that it's super tender, okay? So what I'd like you to do is wherever it's tender, take a breath and then move a little bit further. There's another tender spot. I'm gonna breathe in there and then move a little bit more. So I'm moving towards the front and to the back, but when I find a little lumpy spot, I'm gonna breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. And we're gonna feel around the shoulder blades that lumpy area and probably into the rib cage. You've got little muscles between the ribs that uh, can get very tight, especially if we're not breathing very well. Now, if you can, release this bottom arm and allow your body to arc over the roller gently. If you suffer with any back pain, I wouldn't do this option, okay, because it can be a little bit compressive for the spine, or if you suffer with any osteoporosis or even osteopenia, then I would avoid lateral flexion. This is side bending. So just go back to the rolling forward and back and ignore this little side bend. But if you're in pretty good back health, but just are very stiff in your body, then rolling into this little side bend will feel quite nice. Okay, 
So we're going to roll onto our back here. This is going to be a nice continuous one. And we're going to put the hands interlaced behind the head. And we're going to tuck the pelvis slightly more towards the ribs. So into what we call our 12 o'clock position or our posterior tilt. So that the back base of the pelvis is more on the, on the mat. We're going to take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, we're going to arc the upper back over the roller. Now, some of you are going to feel very stiff doing this. So I want you to do this in little increments and making sure the roller is in a supportive place for you to be able to bend gently backwards. So if it's too low, you're going to feel a little bit too much in your lower back. And if it's too high, you're going to probably not be able to move very well. So some of you will find an inhale going back is more helpful. So I think of my breastbone lifting and arcing backwards as I breathe in. And then as we breathe out, the breastbone kind of falls back into the body. And inhale as we go backwards. And I'm trying to um, keep the lower back very still, which can be quite hard if the upper back is really stiff. The low back wants to lift and bend, okay? Now another great uh, movement here is we can lift our bottoms up very carefully, and if ever you're feeling like this doesn't feel good for you, just pause, stop, do the version before, or just skip it, do some of the other ones. So we're rolling up and down the shoulder blades. And we're also going to add this little bend of the upper back as we roll. So as I roll to the bottom of the shoulder blades, I'm going to curl up slightly looking through the legs. As I go up to the top of the shoulder blades, I'm going to arc back a little bit. So as we roll down the shoulder blades, you're going to curl up. And as I roll up the shoulder blades, we're gonna curl backwards over the roller. So this is a nice way to take the lower back out of things, but it's a little bit more challenging on our bottoms. And then lower back down. And we're then gonna do the lats on the other side. So we're gonna put our roller underneath that rib cage. <clears throat> And we're gonna roll very gently with that bottom arm straight or under your head. And make sure it's not in your armpit, it's just below your armpit, around your chest level. The other hand can go behind the head if that's helpful. Rotating and feeling those lumpy bumpy bits. Okay, so if you feel those little lumpy bumpy bits, pause. Take a breath in. Breath out, breath in and out. And just slowly rolling. So it's a lot more lumpy on this side. So if you notice a big difference in sides, spend a little bit longer there. Okay, breathe into those lumpy bumpy bits. And then as you come to the middle, see if you can release that bottom arm and side bend over your roller and gently lift back up. So the waist arcs up a little bit as I bend the upper back over. Remember, don't do this version. If you've got any back pathology, osteoporosis, osteopenia, any of those. Just skip this bit and you can keep doing the rotation if you like. Okay, let's do this one more time. And release. Good. So what we're going to do is a little hip stretch here. And so we're going to do this with the little small ball. Okay, if you've got a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball. And I'm going to go around the front of the hip. So I'm gonna put the ball right into the crease of my leg. The other leg is bent out to the side like we did with the roller. 
and I'm very gently just rolling across all the little fibers that cross over the front of the hip. Make sure you don't go too far into your groin. And I'm just doing a very gentle little side to side movement. And then I'm also going to do a, a little pelvic tilt over the ball. So I'm letting the, the hip drop down in front of the ball and then taking the hip up and away from the floor and sending the sitting bone down. So this is a nice way to find a little bit of space in your hip. And then what I'm gonna do is roll onto the side of my hip towards the side part of my bum. So I'm just going into this little side area of my bottom. So the front of the hip, I come back into there. It should be in the mushy flesh of your bottom and not up kind of in the bony bit. So I'm kind of on the side of my bottom, okay? And this is a, a little muscle called the TFL, the tensor fascia lata, and it's kind of the top part of the IT band. And it can get very, very tight in a lot of people, especially if we're very unstable in the pelvis. So I'm just doing a little gentle rock forward and back. So you might find more near the bottom is, uh, is sore. And some of you might find more near the front is a little bit sore. So again, about two minutes here. So we've probably done about 30 seconds. So what I'd like you to do is to continue on with this, pause the video, do this for another minute and a half, and then I want you to do the front crease of your leg that we just did and the side of the other hip. Okay, so this is just a little guideline of the exercises that we uh, want to do kind of regularly. Amazing. So we're gonna finish at the wall here and hopefully you can see me okay. What we're gonna do is go into the front of the chest here into our pecs. This is an area that gets very tight with desk posture. So we're gonna place the ball above the chest and in between my arm and my sternum, okay? We're gonna lean into the wall and we're gonna put that ball and I'm just gonna stand a little bit away from the wall so I can lean into that ball. I'm gonna start near my chest, and then as it melts, I'm gonna move it across towards the arm. So if you're too close to the wall, you probably won't feel it, but if you have a slight lean into your ball, then you're gonna feel it. And my arm is just dangled off to the side. It's not, um, so it's just hanging. It's just here, just resting. We don't want it kind of stretched up too much, okay? So we're gonna do two minutes there. Okay, and as we've done before, two minutes on this side, pause the video, two minutes on the other side. And our final exercise is up into this lovely tense area into our neck. So what we're gonna try and do is get the ball to press down into that middle chunky area where you'd love to probably have a massage done, okay? And we're gonna lean our weight so that we're angled in towards the wall, okay? So we're gonna melt. So you can see how I'm slightly angled. It does feel a little bit awkward sometimes, so just be careful on your back but I'm just letting that ball dig down into that neck area. If you suffer from headaches or just general tension, this is a great, great exercise. Take five minutes of your day, every 30 minutes if you're working at a desk, and just do some of these. Come to the wall, do this on the neck. Go back and work another 30 minutes. Come back to the wall, do the pecs. If you have the facility to be able to have your roller, just every 30 minutes, Come down and do one of these stretches. I'm just going to bring that ball around to the back of the shoulder and come down in the middle of my shoulder blades, between my spine and my shoulder blades. I'm going to have a nice little release in there. Okay, you can move your arm very gently or you can move it across. 
and you can also just move your body up and down, okay? So those last two exercises, make sure you do two minutes on that top of the shoulder, and then when you're finished the two minutes, roll around to the back of the shoulder blade and make sure you do the same thing on the other side. What I would highly recommend, and I know not all of us have this much time on our hands, is to do exactly what I said. So bring your roller to your office, or if you have an office from home, then have your roller nearby. And actually for productivity, we should only work 30 minutes at a time. So if you've got like a big long day or a big project that you're doing, you're actually only productive for 30 minutes at a time. So set your timer. This is what I do now regularly. I set my timer for 30 minutes and then I take five minutes to just have a little breather and that can be for you when you do one of these little releases and just work through the sequence. If you've not done myofascial release before, I highly, highly recommend you just focus on this for a good month, maybe even two months of just working through the tension and you will find that you will become more flexible, you will not suffer from injuries as much when you do start to pursue exercise and it's a really good foundation to come back to when you are doing sport or you are doing fitness or you just have a very um, high intense job that might require a lot of physical work or even just bad posture that we do need to do these little maintenance things to help us along the way. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments below what you think and we'll see you soon.